What's up, guys? Welcome back. Some more Sons of the Forest. And, yeah, we're back at our original base camp. Not sure what we're going to do, but we'll figure it out. Cool. Alright, so I'm really hoping that there is... Oh, hey, I've got some raw, more raw meat. I'm really hoping... Okay, there we go. I'm really hoping that there's a... Uh... Like some sort of storage or something I can take for that because I don't have a don't have a lot of stuff or like storage space for meat. Okay, uh, medicine. It's actually kind of nice that all this stuff actually can be, like, respawns. Is that stun gun ammo? Zipline rope. Ooh, more 9mm ammo. That's always nice. Meds, grenades, all right, let's uh, look into our little guide here and see if we have, what is this? Furniture. Maybe a shelf? I think I'm definitely going to need to get into the settings and try to adjust this game. Like, I'm running at under 60 right now, and <laughs> that's not okay. Alright, let's just take a look at what my settings are at right now. That at medium. I mean, I got a lot of this stuff turned off. It's still only at like 60 FPS. Alright. Go.
Um, put all the shotgun down. We don't really need it right now. Don't have a crossbow. Can I, like, put more than one down at a time? Okay, keep that. Uh... I might have to build a couple of those. Honestly, I'm just kind of putting down stuff I know I'm not going to use right now. Okay. Altovs, got some rocks. Put the flares down. Berry seeds, we got some horsetail seeds. There we go. Now I should be able to pick up some of the stuff we couldn't earlier. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's put our logs. In our bin. I wonder if there's like a sp uh, spoiled meat or anything. I never actually checked that. Oh, I just caught myself on fire. Alright. Now, the only thing that I really want to do right now is actually some... Hunting. We're going to see who with the range. This bow is so hard to use. Say, give me my arrows back. There we go. Uh, yeah, I do want to do some um, hunting, though. So we can get some armor going. I got a little bit of bone armor, but... I think I did hit that one.
So I got to looking at some of the like reviews of this game after I started playing it. Uh, there's a lot of people who are like, oh yeah, well, this feels unfinished. And after playing it for about five hours, I can definitely see where they're coming from. And it's just... There's some things about this game already that I can tell are going to be an issue later on. Let me see if I can get this deer. For example... Dude, I have a hard time figuring out where this thing's aiming. Anyway, for, for example... There is... An issue with the quest line that I can already see is, as being an issue. So in the first, oh, man, I can't seem to aim this bow at all. Um, for example, the caves apparently they're all marked. Did I hit that one? I'm just going to use the stone arrows. So all the caves are apparently marked. And we've already seen that like with two of the caves where you, um, they're marked on the map with like basically GPS locators and you're like, oh, okay. Um, so in the first forest game, you had to find everything. Everything was up to you to find. There was a journal that you had that you could keep track of all your notes that you picked up. Uh, that is no longer in the game. Like, I went around looking for the journal. No journal anymore. Uh, the sinkhole from the original game is gone. Now, if this is a completely different map, then that kind of makes sense. That, But I was under the impression that this game was set in the same on the same peninsula so like where's the um, where's the sinkhole if it is now if it isn't then I guess that makes like, again that makes sense but you know it's just apparently <sighs> this whole island is well basically this forest and trees and rivers but there's no like POIs, for example, like the sinkhole that just like, holy crap, I can't believe that's there, you know? And that was one of the things about the, the original one that like when you found that sinkhole for the first time, you're like, just holy crap. Um, most of the stuff is stuff that they may fix in the, like later on, this game is early access, but that in and of itself kind of irritates me. Because this game was delayed twice. It was originally supposed to release about this time last year. And they put it off till September or October of last year. And then September or October or whatever rolls around. And still nothing. There's still nothing. They held it off again. Like, oh yeah, no, we, uh, we need more time. But great. You know, that means the developers are like actually invested in their game and that they're trying to 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 actually make it better but then it releases and on medium settings and my graphics card can barely handle the game sorry about that uh anyway but yeah that's my biggest thing like you guys delayed it twice and it's missing features that were that made the first game so great. Maybe we're not going that way. Okay, let's check the map right quick. Now, oh, okay, see, this is a good example. See, there's two caves right there. There's two caves right there.
Uh, another issue, like, what was I talking about? Uh, graphics card. Uh, yeah, so I have a 6600 XT. Oh my gosh, what is that? That's a moose! Um, I don't think I can take on a moose. Those, like, if they're, like, real-life moose, they get very aggressive if you attack them. Yeah, you, uh, you stay right there. There's a couple of other caves. There's a cave directly in front of us. Uh, so I did also look up kind of a... How to do the main quest. And... Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I did look at the main quest. And, or, well, I guess, I don't know if you can really call it a main quest or not. It's not, like, it's not like you would call, a, say, Fallout, where you have actual different uh, missions and stuff. But, like, what you do have is, like, a series of steps you can take to uh, get to an end goal in the game. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to see what's in this cave over here. And anyway, uh, so there's a set of specific uh, equipment that you have to get. And you have to get it in a specific order because it's kind of like Legend of Zelda where you know how like you could get like the bow and arrow and you have to use the bow and arrow for the entire temple. But in order to access the next temple, you have to have a bow and arrow. And then you get the bombs in the temple that you use the bow and arrow to get you know, access to. It's kind of like that. So. All right. Turn some. Let there be light. This looks like something you might explode. I wonder if we could bring some C4 over here and blow this up. And wouldn't you know it, I left all my C4 at home. Got a grenade though. Got some buzzing in my ear. Oh. That's kind of cool. Not a whole lot we can do in there, I guess. So, 
we'll just leave it be. Alright, where are we at here? Oh, you know what? I did find a cave near my house. Well, find is a strong word. Uh, there's a cave that's literally right by the house, and that might be a good place to, uh, to explore. Okay, we, uh, managed to get ourselves really high up in the air. See, I wonder if there's, like, a boat or anything like I wonder if you can build like a canoe or a raft or something you can build rafts in the first one in fact you actually needed it because there was a underwater cave that you had to get to I think the underwater cave ended up having like a katana or something Let's go. We honestly didn't do a whole lot, actually. This was kind of a wasted day. Most I did was actually waste arrows. Freaking cannibals are there. Freaks come out at night. Yeah. That's pretty much what that is. Just, just above the, uh, Uh, there is something crazy right there. Something I might actually pull my gun out for.
Oh my gosh, what the hell is this thing? Oh my gosh, there's crazy things after me! There's crazy things in my house. Oh. I need to see what that is. Creepy armor. Um. Oh my gosh, that thing really is creepy. Yeah, I think we're calling that a night. We're, we're, I'm done. I'm done. You're, you guys got me. I'm done. I'm creeped. I am creeped out. Um... So, the gate doesn't work very good. I wonder if I can pick that thing up and... Maybe if I build a campfire. Try that. Maybe that will do it. All right. Yeah. Heard another one somewhere. Do the deer, man. Fix this though. Not like that.
I, I, okay, so guys, I'm gonna end it here. Um, those were our first, like, freakish mutant guys. Uh, one guy was sitting there barfing on stuff, man. Like, he was sitting there with, like, one of them spitters from, like, uh, what was it? Back for Blood or Left for Dead? One of those guys? Yeah, that was kind of creepy. Here's another one of my arrows. I used up all my bullets, too. So, alright guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.